All right, let's dive in. Today, we're all about Cash App, and more specifically, how people are using it to, well, make some serious money. Oh yeah, the stories are out there. We've got a whole bunch of YouTube videos lined up, people claiming they've made thousands using Cash App. So we're gonna break it all down, see what's real, what's hype. Exactly. Find those golden nuggets. Mm -hmm. You know, what can you actually use? Separate the signal from the noise. Exactly. So first up, something that popped up a lot, the Cash App referral program. Seems pretty basic on the surface. Yeah. You refer a friend, they sign up, boom, you both get a little bonus. Five bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. But we saw one YouTuber claiming they made thousands just from referrals. Okay, now that's where it gets interesting. How many friends do you have to have for that? Right. It raises the question of scale. Right. And then there's the ethics of it all. You don't want to just be spamming people with your referral code. That's not going to build trust. No, not at all. It's about providing value, building real connections. Yeah. And speaking of value, that leads us to our next point. Some YouTubers are making bank by Get this, creating content about Cash App itself. Mm. Tutorials, tips, you name it. One creator said they're pulling in thousands from AdSense just from those videos. So they're tapping into that knowledge gap. New users are coming in. They want information. Absolutely. And advertisers are willing to pay to reach those people. But how long can that last? You know, interest fades. Good point. How do you keep making engaging content about one app that's the challenge. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Using Cash App for investing, specifically stocks and cryptocurrency. Oh, yes. We saw some bold claims like one user saying they make $750 a day trading yeah. Bitcoin and stocks. Hold on, hold on. I know, right? Those figures might be tempting, but let's not forget the risks. Yeah. Stocks are volatile, crypto even more so. It's unpredictable. We actually saw another video a guy made five bucks profit, but it took him 18 hours. Oh, wow. Talk about a nail biter. So definitely no overnight fortunes guaranteed. Right. But some creators showed how to, in theory, use that volatility to your advantage. Buying Bitcoin when the price dips, even slightly, and then selling could lead to quick profits, but timing is everything. Yeah, that if is doing a lot of heavy lifting there. Big time. It takes research, analysis, understanding trends. Even then, losses are possible. Before you jump in with real money, definitely explore paper trading. You know, simulate trades, but no risk. Actually, this is a good time to remind everyone, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Oh, yeah. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Just submit your name and email, click the verification link sent to your email. The link for all that is in Brian's YouTube bio. Smart move. Get comfortable before you jump in the deep end. <laughs> Speaking of smart moves, one YouTuber highlighted something valuable that goes beyond just Cash App. Okay. Using Google News to track trends so you can make better investment decisions. See, that's smart no matter what platform you're using. Stay informed. Market shifts, economic news, global events, it all ties in. Knowledge is power. Absolutely. And speaking of knowledge, one video we watched focused on the potential of dividend paying stocks. Oh, interesting. Passive income, right? Dividend investing, it's a long game. Steady returns over time, not get rich quick steams, requires you to understand dividend yields, how a company performs. So more research, got it. Now on the other side of the coin, we saw one YouTuber cautioning against those cash app flips you see all over social media, mm -hmm. implying their scams. Rightfully so. Yeah. It's a reminder to do your due diligence. Something sounds too good to be true. It probably is. Research before you invest your hard-earned money. Absolutely. Don't just blindly follow anyone's advice. Make your own financial decisions. Which brings us back to a recurring theme we've been seeing. Oh, yeah. The importance of personal research, especially with stocks and crypto. You got to understand what you're getting into. Yeah. Take ownership. Make informed choices. So we've covered a lot. Referrals, content creation, the wild world of trading. Clearly, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to this making thousands on Cash App thing. What are your initial thoughts? Well, it seems like the best approach depends on you. Your risk tolerance, how much time you can commit, what are your financial goals, are you willing to learn, adapt. It's about finding what works for you. Mm -hmm. And hey, maybe you combine a few approaches, a little referral action, try some content creation, dip your toes into dividend stocks. Like building your own financial toolkit. I like that. Exactly. And one tool that kept popping up spotting those market trends, knowing when to buy, when to sell, anticipating those dips and rises. That seems like the key. Becoming a financial detective, oh. uncovering those hidden clues. Yep. You know, by the way, 
make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Get your free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Oh, right. Over 12,300 words, life-changing stuff. Just your name and email. Click the verification link that gets sent to you. Links in Brian's YouTube bio. Always good advice. Now, back to those trends. One YouTuber, the one claiming $750 a day, he shared his approach. He focuses on Bitcoin and Ethereum. All about that volatility. Classic buy low, sell high. But with crypto. Exactly. He talked about watching graphs, spotting those dips and surges, making quick trades, exploiting those price fluctuations. He even showed himself making multiple trades daily, holding for just hours before cashing out. Intense. That's not just watching graphs, that's understanding the forces behind those changes. News, market sentiment, heck even rumors can send crypto skyrocketing or plummeting. It's a whole ecosystem. It is. So success there demands more than just the technical stuff. You gotta grasp the bigger picture. Investor behavior, the underlying tech. Not for beginners then. Not unless they're ready to put in the time. Now this same YouTuber, he had some insights into stock trading too. Stress going beyond just charts. Using, you guessed it, Google News to track company development. Right, he gave this great example using news about Elon Musk and Twitter to predict Tesla's stock performance. There was all this speculation about the purchase, and that affected Tesla's price. Makes sense. He saw an opportunity, bought when the price dipped because of the uncertainty, betting it would bounce back once the Twitter thing was settled. Of course, he did say this is just one example, no guarantees. Right. But the takeaway is clear. News matters. It does. Staying informed can give you a real edge. It's about connecting the dots. Events, developments, they all influence the market. Like putting a puzzle together? News gives you those missing pieces. Exactly. Speaking of puzzles, remember when that YouTuber brought up paper trading? Oh yeah, the virtual training ground. It's a way to simulate trading without actually risking money. You get a virtual portfolio, virtual cash. You trade based on real-time market data. It's awesome for learning the mechanics, experimenting, you know, seeing if you can handle the emotional roller coaster. Right, because trading can be emotional. Oh, big time. Even those virtual losses can teach you discipline and yeah. help you stay rational. For sure. And speaking of discipline, another theme that kept coming up, the importance of having a plan. Couldn't agree more. Successful trading or investing in general, it's not about random guesses. No. It's about strategy, setting goals and sticking to the plan, even when things get rough. Be the captain of your financial ship, weather those storms. Well said. And that means understanding your goals, right? Yeah. What are you actually trying to achieve with your investments? Short-term gains, long-term growth, passive income. Right. Defining those objectives will guide your decisions, keep you focused on the bigger picture. Exactly. It'll help you determine which strategies actually align with those goals. Mm -hmm. Are you a risk taker going for those quick profits? Or are you more cautious, looking for that steady growth over time? Knowing your financial personality is key. It is. And as we've seen, there's a whole spectrum of approaches here with Cash App, from those relatively low risk referrals all the way to the high stakes world of crypto. Finding the right fit. Right. And remember, this is a journey, not a destination. Always more to learn, new strategies, fresh opportunities. Speaking of learning and exploring, let's circle back to dividend investing. What are some key takeaways for someone who might be interested in that approach? The YouTuber we saw, he emphasized that it's a long game. Patience is key. Focus on companies with a good track record, paying those consistent dividends, building wealth gradually over time, almost like a snowball. I like that. It's great for folks who prefer a hands-off approach. Let that money work in the background. That does sound appealing. But even with that long-term mindset, I imagine there are still risks involved, right? Of course. Nothing is completely risk-free. But one way to mitigate that risk is diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right, I've heard that saying. But what does diversification actually look like when you put it into practice? So it means spreading your investments across different types of assets, different industries, even different regions of the world. So, for example, instead of just investing in tech stocks, you might consider things like real estate, bonds, maybe even precious metals. Okay. The idea is if one investment takes a hit, those others can soften the blow. It's a lot of sense. All about balance. Spreading the risk. Exactly. And don't forget, knowledge is your best defense. The more you understand about these different options, the better decisions you can make. It seems like again and again in this deep dive, research and staying informed has been so critical. Absolutely crucial. The financial world is constantly changing. You have to stay ahead of the game, read books, listen to podcasts like this one, 
follow reputable news sources. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And it's not just the mechanics of investing. It's being aware of the broader economic landscape. Inflation, interest rates, global events, it all plays a role. It does. It's like you're a detective, piecing together clues from different sources to make the best decisions possible. And sometimes, those clues come from surprising places. Like that YouTuber using Google News to predict Tesla's stock based on Elon Musk's Twitter dealings? That was creative. Thinking outside the box, being open to new sources of information. It's not just about numbers and charts. It's about understanding the big picture, the forces that drive the market. Exactly. You need a holistic view, and that takes time, effort, and a willingness to continuously learn and adapt. Well, we've covered a lot of ground today. Referrals, content creation, the ins and outs of trading, the potential of dividend investing, plus the critical role of research and risk management. It's been quite a journey. It really has. And as we wrap up this part, I want to emphasize one thing. Cash app or any financial tech is just a tool. Yeah. The real power lies in your knowledge, your strategy, and your commitment to making smart decisions. It's about taking ownership of your financial journey, setting those goals, using those tools strategically to reach your destination. Precisely. And remember, the financial world is vast and ever-changing. There's always something new to discover, a different approach to try, fresh opportunities waiting to be seized. Embrace the journey. Never stop learning. Well said. And it'll help you figure out, you know, which strategies really fit with those goals. Are you someone who's okay with more risk, chasing those quick profits? Or do you prefer being a little more cautious, you know, aiming for that steady growth over time? Knowing yourself, your financial personality, that's key. Absolutely. And as we've seen with Cash App, there's a whole range, right? From those referrals, pretty low risk, all the way to that wild world of crypto trading. High stakes. A whole spectrum finding that sweet spot. Right. And remember, it's not about reaching some finish line. It's a journey. Always something new to learn, new strategies to explore, opportunities popping up all the time. Speaking of learning and exploring, mm -hmm. let's go back to dividend investing for a minute. Mm -hmm. What are some of the big takeaways there for someone who might be thinking about going that route? Well, the YouTuber we saw, he really stressed that it's a long game. Patience is key. You want to find those companies with a solid track record of paying consistent dividends. Mm -hmm. It's about building wealth over time, gradually, that snowball effect. Yeah. And it's a good option for people who maybe they prefer a more hands-off approach. Let that money work for them in the background. I could see the appeal in that. Mm -hmm. But even with that long-term approach, I'm guessing there are still risks, right? Of course, of course. Nothing's completely risk-free. But one way to manage that risk is drum roll, diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, as they say. Okay, I've heard that phrase before. But what does that actually look like? Diversification in action. It means spreading your investments out. Different types of assets, industries, even different parts of the world. So instead of just investing in, let's say, tech stocks, you might also look at real estate, bonds, even things like precious metals. Right. The idea is if one investment takes a hit, those others can help cushion the fall. It's like a safety net for your portfolio. A safety net. I like that. So it's about balance. Exactly. Yeah. Balance, spreading the risk. And don't forget, knowledge is your best protection. The more you know about your options, the better decisions you'll make. And that seems to be a recurring theme in this deep dive, wouldn't you say? The importance of research, staying informed. Absolutely crucial. The financial world never stands still. It's always changing. So you got to stay ahead of the curve. Read books, you know, listen to podcasts, follow those reliable news sources, and never hesitate to ask questions. And it's not just about the mechanics of investing, right? Yeah. It's understanding the whole economic landscape. Things like inflation, interest rates, what's happening globally. It all ties in. It's almost like being a detective, gathering clues from different places to make the most informed decisions. And sometimes those clues can come from the most unexpected sources. Like that YouTuber who used Google News to try and predict Tesla's stock based on, of all things, Elon Musk's Twitter shenanigans. I thought that was pretty clever. It was. And it shows the importance of thinking outside the box, being open to new sources of information. Sometimes you find those valuable insights by connecting things that don't seem related at all. So it's not just about numbers and charts. Yeah. It's about the big picture, the forces that drive the market. Exactly. You need that holistic perspective. And that takes time, effort, and a willingness to keep learning, keep adapting. Well, we've certainly covered a lot of ground today. Referrals, creating content, all the complexities of trading, the possibilities with dividend investing, and of course the essential role of research 
managing risk, and staying informed. It's been quite the journey, and as we start to wrap things up, I want to emphasize one thing. Cash App, like any of these financial tools, is just that, a tool. Right. The real power is in your hands, your knowledge, your strategy, your commitment to making smart decisions. It's about taking control of your financial journey, right. setting your sights on those goals, using the tools strategically to get where you want to go. Well said. And don't forget, the world of finance, it's vast, it's always evolving, always something new to learn, a different approach to consider, new opportunities to grab. Embrace the journey, never stop learning. I love that. Embrace the journey, never stop learning. Well said. It sounds like the big takeaway here is that making money with Cash App or any platform, really, it's a mix of things. Yeah, definitely a multifaceted approach. Yeah. College, a solid strategy, being willing to adapt. Not about finding that one magic formula. Nope. It's about constantly learning, you know, improving your financial literacy, building your skills, staying ahead of the curve. And staying ahead of the curve means keeping an eye on those new trends, new technologies, those shifts in the market. Absolutely. The financial landscape, it's always in motion. It is. So you got to keep learning to make the right decisions. This has been a really insightful deep dive, I got to say. Yeah, it has. We've covered so much from those referrals and content creation to all the complexities of trading, mm -hmm. the potential of dividend investing, the importance of research, managing risk, staying informed. We've been all over the map. We have. So as we wrap up, what's that one final thought you'd like to leave our listeners with today? I think it goes back to what we were saying before, you know, cash up, any financial technology, it's a tool. Right. The real power is with you, your knowledge, the strategies you develop, your commitment to making those informed decisions. It's about taking ownership, setting those goals, and then using these tools to help you get there. Exactly. And never forget, the world of finance is huge, always changing. It is. There's always something new to learn, a different strategy to try out, opportunities waiting around every corner. So, so true. Embrace that journey, never stop learning. Well said. I love that. Thanks for having me. It's been a great conversation. Absolutely. And to all our listeners out there, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Cash App. Happy investing, everyone.